So this is the cheapest apartment in all of Manhattan. <laughs> Welcome to my walk-in closet. Hey, Ali, what's Ali, up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? Is your neighbor's dog? Yeah, it's my neighbor's dog. Okay, I don't know why you're out in the hallway, but... Okay, let's go to the bathroom. Pretty spacious. This is shared? Private. Oh. So private. It's my own. So I have this one. My neighbor has this one. Okay, so you got a shower. I mean, it's... It's small, <laughs> it's nice. but the fact that it's just yours, because we filmed once before where it's a shared bathroom, that's sweet mm -hmm. that this is just your space. Exactly. So right. right through here. So you've got three neighbors. I have, and... Yeah, three neighbors right here. And then welcome oh. to the walk-in closet. Everyone's seen the video before mm -hmm. and to see it, it's, it's smaller <laughs> in your life than on the video. So I have the couch all the way to the wall. You can maximize as much living room space as possible. I like how you have the New York red brick. Yes. I made a video once and someone's like, dude, that's just red brick. I'm like, no man, that's no. New York red brick. It's special. You gotta romanticize it a little bit. You do. I do like also you have this side table here with two outlets built in and a USB. So when I work from home, it's just nice to be able to convenience, right? And then the living room couch actually turns into a bed. So you technically could have friends from out of town visit you if you wanted to, and you still have enough room to even open the refrigerator with the bed down. The space is truly utilized. So your kitchen, do you cook here? Not a lot, but anytime I do, I have to store all plates and everything underneath here. Can we see your refrigerator? Yeah, <laughs> it's messy. It's too little. Messy? You've got the essentials. That neighbor over there actually fixed the stove multiple times because the burner wasn't working or it wasn't connected or something. But it's very New York where you had to kind of fix a few things first. I feel like in a place like this, normally it'd be a hot plate. Like you'd have to yeah. buy a hot plate and put yes. that there. So I guess we'll do like a, a clockwise yeah. look. So <laughs> yeah. then behind us. Behind us, we have the storage where I keep all my podcast gear and I tried to really just hone down on what do I need, what do I not need. This came with the apartment, you said? The TV came with the apartment. I can't bring a huge suitcase back here. So oh. You couldn't even fit using. a checked bag in here. Let's get the tape measure. Let's do it. So across we have 82 inches. 110. 110? That's literally a parking spot. I was curious the ceiling height because in the video I saw, I was like, oh wow, this is pretty low, but it's not that low. Six foot eight ceiling height down here. That's not bad. I thought it was going to be like six four-ish. So I do have a question. Heat and cooling. Does this pump yeah, heat? That is heat actually, yes. But it's it's good? It's good. He chewed the swivel on it. Wait, so you can't control it? <laughs> I don't know. I have to figure that out when it gets cold again. The cool thing is you have a skylight. Yes. Let's look up here. The ceilings are I'd say like nine feet and the air conditioner is actually in that window, right? Yes. Okay, so this is my skylight. And this is my air conditioner unit. So it's like a proper window air conditioner unit just hooked into your skylight. That's the old one. This is the new one because the old one kind of cut out during the summer heat. I didn't know it had air conditioning in the summer. Yeah, it got really hot. And I was like, yo, I think this is illegal. I called my landlord. Oh, good boy. <laughs> All right, the bed. Yes. I have to check it out. I'm going to take my shoes okay. off. Don't mind the smell. Here we go. Up the ladder to, oh my gosh. This is, okay, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was. One foot, 10 inches of head clearance up here. You don't get claustrophobic sleeping up here? No. Above us, that is your closet, right? Yes, it's so hard to do with two people. See, this is why I can't have boys up here because it's just too hard. It's so cozy, yeah. And this is a twin bed? Full, twin. Yeah, full, because then you have the shelving area here, like computer, yeah. books, all that. Sometimes I'll even work up here if I'm really tired. Should we talk about the water leaking? The ceiling literally is, was caving in up here. Oh, wow. And I don't know, I guess just so much rain. So I had to call the maintenance guy and I actually used tape all night and I taped this little hole right here and I woke up because water was dripping on me. You were saying you lived in a high rise before, right? Luxury high rise, yeah. And you downsized to this. Yeah. What was the main point behind that? I just felt stuck at my apartment. I couldn't, I had the gym there, I had everything there and it was so expensive to the point where I didn't have a lot of extra free money to just go and do whatever and I wanted to invest more and, and you feel obligated to be there all the time. You feel obligated to show everyone what you have, which is awesome, but why the need? 650 per month times yeah. 12. So that's 7,800 per year just for this place. Yes. You said you have a gym membership? Yeah. How much is your gym membership? 340. Three, <laughs> 340 a month for the gym membership. The average rent peaked at 5,000 a month, 60 grand per year. And okay. you're paying just under eight. It's $52,000 to invest, travel, literally do so much to get me further in life. Damn. 
So you have a lot of neighbors. Can we yes. check out someone else's unit in here? Of course. Yes, yeah, stay. Yo. Oh, stay, stay. Oh, he sees the cat. He sees the cat. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, Eric. Up, Come on in. Wow. This, this is, is beautiful. I'm gonna take my shoes off. <laughs> it's very clean. Wow. Man, you have. This is so well done. What is the rent here? 687, man. 687? Yeah. <laughs> For this? Yeah. Here, wait, Blake, come in and check this out. Couch, street view. My cat's up there somewhere, too. I'm from East Tennessee, so this is like... This is perfect. Yeah, this is crazy. If you're a freelancer, an artist, you can move here and make it happen. I have one job. You just have to want it enough, man. This is my dream, so I made it happen. So JR's mic actually cut out while he was giving the tour, so here's a quick little rundown of his space. Here's the view looking towards the front door, loft overhead with the ladder heading up. Here's a look up into that loft space featuring JR's cat. And his space was so well organized, he even had room for his bike in his New York City apartment, which is pretty rare. You have the coat rack right by the front door, and the kitchen actually had an induction cooktop refrigerator with the microwave overhead. It faces south, so he had a pretty awesome plant collection. Then he had his workstation storage here, which actually folds down to a nice little table for writing, eating, grinding coffee, or some other things, and that's that. Okay, so yeah, that's the place. This is my bathroom. It's across the hall, super short. I do share it with the girl right there, but it's cool. She's so nice. This is it. Look up, there's a nice skylight. When it rains, it's really nice too. It's got a tub. You want to step in a little more to see it all. It's a little messy, but that's okay. Would you still say it's worth it? 100%, because now you'll have these stories forever, and this is the gold part about moving to New York. I wouldn't have this in the luxury high rise, and I think you appreciate moments like this. New York City is a revolving door. It is not an easy place to live. That's why people come just as fast as they leave. Anything you want to do in this world, you can make happen in New York City with some hard work, determination, and a plan. And if this video shows you anything, I hope it shows you that yes, it is possible to move to New York City if you have a clear vision and are willing to put in the work it is definitely possible. The possibility of a dream coming true is the only thing that you really need in life. I hope you're well watching this. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. Do you think you could live in a micro New York City apartment?